Maria Lamoni, Sales Manager here at ICPDAS USA. Today I'm going to be going over data logging systems and we'll introduce data logging technology, data logging equipment, data logging software, and data logging applications. After that, Khan from our technical support department will show how to set up a data logging system in five minutes. ICPDAS was established in 1993 and is headquartered in Shinshu, Taiwan, where we manufacture our products. We have over 100 R&D engineers and work closely with them to support our customers, add new features to products, and to develop new products. We have offices in the U.S., Taiwan, Germany, Venezuela, Chile, Colombia, and China. We have distributors worldwide. We can help with systems integration projects if needed and provide free systems integration services for large projects. Data logging is a monitoring application that involves the recording of data over time to a PC, controller, or device with onboard memory. Measurements like pressure, temperature, strain, tank levels, and digital I.O. status can be taken by data logging equipment and can be viewed on a spreadsheet on a PC. Our data logging software packages allow you to implement actions based on the input data, like triggering a digital or analog output, or sending an email alarm once a measurement exceeds a preset level. On CSV, comma separated value data log files, you can see the time, date, and measurement values. You can log data at various intervals like every second, every hour, or every day. The sampling rate is determined by your network and data acquisition equipment. Our equipment can be logged at up to 60 samples per second. This data log here, it's from 2009 and it shows sampling of pressure, current, and temperature taken every second. Data log information can be shown on a graph, so you can visually see the data plotted on a chart over time. You can see the real-time data for the current status, which can show what the measurement levels were over a past hour, day, or year. You can also see the waveform, the on-off status of digital equipment. The trend graph can indicate a tank leakage, a problem with refrigeration, a pump that needs repair, all of which can save money if the problem is found sooner or later. In addition to trend graphs, you can also see HMI status, like with bar graphs or buttons to show the status of things that are on or off. Data logs can help determine temperature range, battery life, battery degradation, weight of products during different phases in production, strain and vibration levels on bridges at different times of day and year, and refrigerated truck temperature levels. Easy expandable data loggers like the WISE 5800 can log data from remote I.O. modules and Modbus RTU devices. They can be expandable with an XW board that can fit inside and they can also work with different kinds of sensors. They support if-then-else type control logic and are easy to use and are configurable over a web server. Power meter concentrators are similar to the WISE smart data loggers as they are expandable and can be used with Modbus RTU devices and power meters. They also offer a friendly user interface for displaying power consumption and energy management information. They also generate daily and monthly reports, send email and SMS alarms, and can display real-time trending information. Data loggers like the DL302 carbon dioxide temperature and humidity data logger has a touchscreen on board, an audio alarm, supports Modbus RTU and Modbus TCP protocols, and also comes with a free Android app for monitoring through smartphones. Another type of temperature and humidity data logger is the DL100TM485 that come in black or white. They communicate over Modbus RTU. The WinPack programmable automation controllers with WinCE.NET operating systems come with free configurable eLogger data logging software. With eLogger, you can log data and can design screens for displaying information. The screens can have buttons that can be used to start or stop projects and also turn I.O. on or off. WinPacks have Ethernet, USB, RS-485, 
RS-232, and VGA ports. The WP5000 embedded type can be used with expansion I.O. boards that can go inside. The WP8000 rack-based types can be used with I.O. cartridges that slide in the rack. They all can be used with remote I.O. modules and Modbus equipment. You can publish eLogger software to their HTTP servers for displaying information through a web page. You can transfer data log or other files with the FTP server. You can log data to the embedded SQL Server database. Easy Data Logger is a free, easy to use data logging, control, and monitoring software package we provide with some of our remote I.O. modules. It's fast and easy to use and can display information, log data in a database, show trend graphs, and supports VBScript for logic control operations. It supports multiple users and supports up to 64 I.O. tags. You can also log data from a web camera and can show the camera through the software. A digital input module with the motion control sensor can send you an email when motion is detected in a prohibited area at a facility. It could prompt you to log into the system and look at the camera. An advanced version of Easy Data Logger that supports more tags and web cameras is available for larger systems. Data logging systems are fast and easy to set up. Khan and our tech support department is going to show you how to quickly and easily set up a data logging system in five minutes with PC-based Easy Data Logger software and an Ethernet Modbus TCP-based data acquisition module. You can quickly and easily set up other kinds of data logging systems with standalone data loggers, wireless data acquisition equipment, programmable controllers with e-logger and remote data acquisition modules. As I pass the presentation over to Khan, I wanted to mention some of our company benefits. Um, they include free technical support, application engineering, and free online trainings. We provide programming services, build control panels, and can provide free systems integration services for large projects. We also offer low lead times of two to five days for out-of-stock items. In-stock items ship the same day. Okay, thank you so much, Maria. And hi to everybody. I hope uh, you all can hear me well. If you have any problem, just uh, type on the chat box. Uh, today I'm also going to be showing how to set up Easy Data Logger, as Maria mentioned, in five minutes, which hopefully will take less than five minutes, but let's try. Okay, I'm going to first we can create a new project. I'm just, uh, I already created, but I want to show you how to create a new project. So we're just clicking on the project and click on the new project. So we can type the project name here and just uh, click save. Then we need to uh, set up our modules here, which I would like to tell you first what I'm using. I'm using one uh, I7060 and also I have one 7561. Uh, which is a converter from uh, 485 to USB. So we're clicking on a group setup. First step is uh, setting up the driver. So we are clicking on the install and click on the uh, Decon uh, uh, protocol, which is uh, i7000 series is only supporting. And uh, my COM port is 10, so which I already know. The baud rate is 9600. And the checksum, then we are clicking on install. We will see that we created the driver here. Then we are clicking on plus device. And we need to select our uh, device here, which is 7000 series. And I'm coming to module, then selecting 7060D. Just scrolling the mouse down till 60D right here. And then we will see uh, that the 7060D has four digital input and four digital output, relay output. So once we accept this, we are clicking on Add, and we will see we already created the device too. I'm closing here, closing here too. And since we have only four digital inputs, which are here, we are selecting them and adding to our list. So we should be seeing for digital input here. And then also we do the same thing for digital output. 
you are selecting five of them, I'm sorry, four of them, click Add, then we also see the two outputs on the channel list. I guess we are ready to, oh, as we saw on the f uh, main page, we had three f uh, work groups where we can, uh, since we are using one, we can delete the other two. Depends on your project. So we are clicking Home button. It will take for a while. Then now we are seeing that our device is of status. So once I click Start, it should be communicating to my device. And I need to see that uh, light turns green. So once it turns green, I'm sure that it is communicating, and I'm able to see the page. So I let me just turn the input one on, as you see here. Okay, let's try for the digital input two. All right, and I can also control my outputs here by turning on and off. I'm hearing the relay uh, contact, but I guess you are not able to hear that. OK, so we click Home button. And I also would like to show you how to set up a trend and the data login. So I'm clicking on the system configuration here, which will allow me to set up my uh, database configuration. So my sampling rate. I basically select one second, but you can also, you know, uh, select 10, 10 seconds, 30, uh, 30 seconds. It depends on your requirement. Buffer size is also can be selectable. My data format is going to be 123.456. Uh, and also, you can add uh, alarm audio if you have audio system. Uh, Save interval is going to be one second. And this refers that uh, my easy data logger will be creating a, f uh, I guess, data login file for each hour. So I can also select for two hours, for each two hours, for each four hours, and uh, so on until 24 hours. So I'm selecting one hour. And my uh, also file path here, which is also default. So I'm clicking on the save, then click on exit. Before I click in on the exit, I also would like to show you uh, we can also uh, set up SQL Server configurations and my SQL Server configurations uh, if it is required. So we can set uh, we can send the uh, configurations. So I'm clicking exit here. So start my project again. Okay, I'm clicking layout here. So as you see I'm turning on my digital input zero and click home button. I'm coming here to trend. So as we see here my digital input one is on. And I'm just going this back, and I can also turn. Let me just turn one of my output on. There you go. Coming back here, see that on the screen. So there are different colors, as you see here. My digital inputs and digital outputs. My I guess uh, bright or light uh, green is digital output one. So as you see, it is on on position. So I'm coming back to my home screen, clicking Layout, turning this off, then going back Home button. And once I, I mean, you don't really need to stop uh, your project, but I just stop the project and coming back to here to open database. So I see my uh, database files here. This refers uh, the date. And the time, I guess. So here, I'm also clicking. Uh, I'm clicking on the work group. So once I click on load trend, it will load all my trend here. So I will be uh, able to see. I can also do print and export as well.
I can also select load table and it will load my table. Once I click export, it will ask uh, Excel or text file. So I guess uh, that's all for now. Is it uh, less than five minutes, Maria? Or I guess I took less than five minutes. Oh, yes, does anyone have any questions or anything? Great job, Khan. Oh, no problem. If you have any question, you know, you can uh, type chat box anytime. Also, I can show you, this is also one of the most questions that we are receiving, uh, how to uh, set up the key. I can also show you very basic how to set up the key. So here, we're seeing the license. So once I click here, I get the license, but unfortunately, my, I guess, uh, default uh, browser is Google Chrome, so I just need to select that one on the Google, uh, I'm sorry, Internet Explorer. So once I go to just type in here, Easy Data Logger, it will open up the page. Oops. Okay. Clicking on the Easy Data Logger and License Key. So we can get the license from here, type in your uh, company information, and download in the file. Um, yes, Kirk is asking, what device do I choose for the i7188EX? So we offer free Modbus uh, firmware for 7188EX. You can upload that into the controller. And then, Khan, can you explain how to, to you would work with that? Definitely, yes. I can also send the uh, uh, firmware, Mopus firmware, and I can show you how to upload this firmware to 7188X. Okay, and then Shakar is asking if we can send the procedure of data logging in the email. Um, so, Khan, can you also send some information in the email with, about this? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you send that to me, then I'll send it out to everyone, and I'll also include a video that shows uh, kind of similar steps to what Khan did today, and we'll also publish this video on our training videos page later today or by Monday. So, since the time will be restricted, so I just uh, I can also show like here control logic part very quick. Uh, I'm clicking the control logic. You can type your control logic here um, if you want to control outputs according to input statuses. You can type your visual basic codes here and you know, uh, I guess upload to your project from here. And also as Maria mentioned, we can also use web cameras. Uh, here is the house of setting up. Since I don't have any web camera here, I cannot uh, set this up. But uh, here is the place where we can make it. Any other questions? Um, so if there's no other questions, please feel free to reach us anytime by email or phone, and we'll be glad to help you. And if you have any future questions, just ask us at any time. Thank you so much for coming to today's training, and we hope we can help you with projects. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.